Okay, boys, we are in a tough situation right now. We're not lost, but we're looking at new land for a mining operation to expand the mining operation because it's winter and our mining operation is shut down. And we're stuck in a snowstorm. It's snowing, it's blizzarding. Luckily, we got the four wheel drive Cummins and we're making our through here, but we got Buddy Clutch and Buck in here and we're just scrambled in here like sardines, trying to make it back, going down crazy hills and stuff. Well, the sun's coming up at least. Hopefully it warms up. It is it is brisk out here. I'm surprised we haven't gelled up. The diesel, the old Cummins, she's doing her. I put a strong additive in the tank Smart. Uh, last week for the past few nights, so it's circulating. Oh! <laughs> A little rough there. Hold it together. Oh, we're good. All right. So what's the plan when we get we get back to camp? I mean, we got a day ahead of us. We should probably do some work, even though the snow's coming. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna take a nap. Oh man, drive you want to take a? You, you don't. You may not wake up if you take a nap in this. You're gonna be buried in six feet of snow. Eh, I'll risk it. I mean, look at the camp. The camp is absolutely covered. Do we need to clean this place out first? We're gonna be shut down. There's no way. This is why we rush. Well, boys, I think it's time to say goodbye. To the mine that plot of land we looked at that lease land i think i mean that'll be good for the spring but we've we've got to we got to buy that or lease that first and i guess move some move some money around right we got to get cleaned up and everything but how buck, what are you that, doing did, did, did that just cold start holy i said i've been taking care of these things you guys mm -hmm. it didn't, for this didn't even struggle at all like no the amount of grief you gave me when i bought that thing and look at you you're it's like what that's almost it's <laughs> below freezing <laughs> and you're driving around no problem <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I don't have a McDonald's jacket like Buck. I'm going to go to bed and not freeze my butt off out here. With the Coney Island one on. I'm just going to clear out our entrance. You guys get some sleep. I'll be on the night shift again. Okay. All right. I like I like what Buck's on the night shift. I'm going to bed. Thanks, Buck. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see you boys see in the morning. Guys. Okay. Well, I'm going to get to bed here. Oh, it's going to be chilly. Better keep my coat on. <laughs> Holy Toledo! Grant, are you are you stuck over there too? I'm yeah. I can't hear anything. All I can hear is Buck. Yeah, here, let me kick him. Oh, oh you! Oh, oh you gotta do that. <laughs> uh, Buck, I'm Buck totally do you see how much snow we here. got? Look at that. What is going on? I'm currently trying to hold my nuts. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Buck, you see how much oh. snow we got? I'm still. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Okay. There, I'm, I'm coming over. Hang on a sec. What is going on with these big snow piles? I had the same thing in front of my tent. Oh, oh, it's just in front of the tent. I thought we got like 10 feet of oh. snow. Oh, it's just Buck. Buck just. You son of a. Buck, I thought you were going to be pushing snow last night, not pushing up in front of our tent. Yeah, you never said where. How much more snow did we get after you went to bed, Buck? Look at look at the patches <laughs> everywhere here. This is ridiculous. You didn't do anything I'm but sorry, pile it up I here. I got kicked in the nuts this morning. I'm kind of trying to figure out where I'm supposed to walk. <laughs> I haven't really decided where I was going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I ain't standing there again. All right, who left the lights on in the Volvo? I turned the key on so we could see last night. I don't remember turning them off, though. I'm going to be honest. I see we say bro somebody broke in. At least if it'll start. Ah, uh, come on. Once fans get ranking over a little bit. Hey, we can jumpstart with the uh, Cummins. I say it's just, it's clicking. Yeah, here. Let's see if the Cummins will fire up. You said you plugged her in though, right? Oh yeah, she's got stuff in her. Okay. Come on, come on. We need this to start. We need to transport that gold. Come on. Oh boy. Um, what else got we got here? We got her. You got to run? Yep. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, you might want to give her a little bit of gas on the way out of, out of the shop here, Grant. She's a bit, bit of a snow pal. Okay, <laughs> Buck. Got the hood open. We'll uh, jump starter. Up top. Okay, yep. Yeah, I got the jumper cables. It looks like a new battery, too. Oh, well, yeah, but again, you can't stop that when the battery's dead. Yeah. Okay. I'll give her a little gas in the truck. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'll get ready to pull her out. Come on. She wants... There you go. Come on, Buck, fire it up. Come on, let's go. There we go. Yeah. Shut that down. Perfect. Get that hole hooked up again. All right. All, All right, right, Buck, there you go. Well, Move I'm it on just going to let that warm up for a second. So we have to hole out. This is all the gold we produced over time. Clutch did a lot of work and got all the pay dirt mined and stuff. Luckily, 
we have the gold here. I don't know if we're going to hit the 10 mil. I haven't even counted how many gold dents we have. But our goal was to get 10 mil out of this site and then move on to another site. We have, I would guess, half that maybe. We'll see how much money we can get from this. But I don't think we're going to haul her out with the, uh, the old Dodge. Me and Buck got this crazy idea. Right now, Clutch is gone. He had to head into town or something. I don't know how he made it there. But anyways, we have this haul truck. And we're going to try hauling it in this haul truck here. Please fire up. Please fire up. Hold on. Give her a second. She is not liking the cold, but she likes it. She works. There you go. Okay, I'm going to back up the whole truck so Buck can get her loaded. We'll see if he can reach up here. It's going to be tough, though. Okay, the skid loader did not work, but we still have that wheel loader. So we have a pallet fork for that wheel loader. We're going to be able to load the gold that way. Buck, I'll work the skid loader. Get in the skid loader and move stuff closer to you, and then you can lift her up. There you go. Take her away, big son. Is that going to work? That was actually smooth. Yeah, that was good. Just don't drop her, Bach. That's a lot of money right there. Oh. Bah. Hang on, what? I haven't dropped the all. Oh. <laughs> Oh gosh. To be fair, you didn't set it in the pallets. You just okay. set it on top of it. I'll I'll do better. We're going two this time, Buck. Having like a little troubles here. See, I like how you parked the truck on the highest point that we have sitting in the yard. You know what we should do is we should probably clear the snow out from here. That way it's a little easier. Well, at least just pile her up off to the edge a little bit. Go a little smoother here. Lift her up. Okay, we got this cleared out of the way. Now what Buck's gonna do is we're gonna do our exchange here, and then he's gonna stick the wheel loader, front of the wheel loader here, and he can load the truck. The snow gives him height so that he can get up there. Even with the wheel loader, it's kinda tough to get up there. Just set it on the ground and I'll take it from there. There we go. We're going to try and grab both these here. Oh yeah, perfect. Got another load coming for you. Oh. <laughs> Buck, that's 200 grand. <laughs> Good enough. Well, I didn't think this was going to be an option, but we do have the flat deck old Mac back here that we bought when we got our first round of money. She's been buried here, and I mean, I wouldn't even expect her to start on a warm day, but we'll see if she'll uh, crank over here. Come on. Ugh. Battery's going dead. Battery shot on there, it won't even crank over. We'll just have to keep it back there. I wish I could get this truck out. She's just not gonna start today. We'll just have to use the Cummins. Then we have this 18 foot flat deck trailer. We'll throw the rest of the gold on. Okay, this is getting a little tough. We're trying to move. Oh my gosh. We'll see if we can get her up here. There we go. What are these axles rated for? Uh, I think 12,000. Okay, any idea what kind of weight we've got on this trailer right now? I don't know and I'm not gonna figure it out. Okay, and can someone explain why we got the dump truck full of gold? Well, this is for if in case things go south, we can tow something out. Okay, That's All right. the only way um, we're making it there. He's gonna lead the way with those big fatties. I mean, he can pretty much plow the road, I'm thinking. Did we strap the gold down in the back of the dump truck? We ran out of straps, they're all on the trailer. Oh, great. Clutch, I'll, let slow. You, I'll let you drive. Oh boy. All right, let's go. I'll hop in. Okay, boys, this is a year of hard work. This is going to pay for our new mine here. Have you done the math on how much we're going to make off this yet? Roughly six mil is what we're thinking. We're not sure, depending on gold prices. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> we are. The tires are squatting like crazy. <laughs> Just squatting, boys. Oh my <laughs> gosh. We are loaded down. 
I'm grabbing for gears here, but it doesn't seem to help me helping us too much. Oh boy, come on. Oh, Whoa. come on. Come I'm on. Sli oh. I'm sliding. Um, Fuck. Oh, grab, we're, we're stuck, man. Hang we on. are spinning. I got no, I got nothing. Fuck, get back here. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to hook up a chain or maybe give me a shove. You're gonna give me a push? Yeah. Okay, careful with the gold bars, Buck. Don't break those boxes. Just slow. Okay, three, two, one. Well, just go. Give her. Go. Give oh, her. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you All go. Right. Did you get it? Yep, we're jumping. Yeah, we're, we're, through, we're through, we're through, we're through. We're going. All right, Buck, get out there and cut some trail for us again. Okay, we switched drivers. Oh, I got thought that train was coming right at us, but we switched drivers. Clutch was getting a little tired, so I took over. It's a long drive well, you down know, here. We got stuck there that once. I didn't really feel like getting stuck again, so I I'll know. let you try to get a, down the flat line at the bottom here. It's probably, it's probably easier down here. I'll let it, the easy part for you. It's not bad. Just got to keep her straight. I mean, it's like driving a bobsled almost. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, did we lose Buck? Oh, there he is. He's up there. Good. Uh oh Are we taking the lead? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think they got almost as much snow down here as we did up top in the uh, the mountainside. This is crazy. Buck, you saw a train? I didn't. I didn't see no stinking train. Hang on. I got a. I got a map of where their paths are. Here, hang on. Let me listen. To, I'm gonna listen to the rails. You're gonna there, be listening. Just not go. Too hey, get off the roof. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh. We're good. But see, it was on the other track. See, I didn't hear nothing. I told you. I said I have a monitor on this thing. No, he was on the other track though. You didn't even know what you're talking about. See. Do you not see you're standing on a piece of railroad? Yeah, but I was, I, I put my ear down to it. I couldn't hear anything and I was right. I can't listen to the rails, right? I don't I don't know which way they're supposed to go. Do you go. not know that technique? Uh, Buck, are you, no, I, I thought you I were like an outdoorsman. I said I already had a monitor saying, hey, there's a train coming. I do saw I, like, it. Like, all you have to do is bend mountain. down and like listen to the rails down here. That's all it is. You'll it's easy. Be fine. You don't need no monitor. I hear something. Get off the track! I told you I heard something a little bit. I, I mean, I didn't think it was that close, but see, it works. It was fine. I've had enough about getting run over by trains today. Yeah, uh, speaking of getting run over by trains, the cell point's right on the train track right up there. Okay, well, let's go uh, Let's go get rid of this gold then and make some money. Okay, we're going to start selling them, boys. All right. <sighs> big money, big money, big money. They're getting sold. There's a train coming, Buck. Hurry. Oh, no! Buck. Buck. Fuck, the train's go, not stopping go, for you. Go, go. Fuck. Fuck, go. Move, Buck. Oh, no. It's taking me. Bye, guys. Well, I mean, we got six mil, and now if we split it halvesies, that's three mil for me, three mil for you. We could just forget this whole gold mining thing and go back to civilization with three million each. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was a good way to end it. Buck's still going to be with us. He's not dead. Anyways, we'll see you guys later.